Hi there, folks, and welcome back to Aragon Reporter with very special coverage of the first annual Pyramid Air Cup, a field target and silhouette shooting event open to the public being held in Pyramid Air's home state of Ohio. Now, I have the truck packed with all the camera gear I'm going to need for this weekend, but I'm waiting on a couple of friends. I'll be joined by Guy Chisulo and 2007 World Field Target Champion Paul Cray. As soon as these two get here, it's time for a road trip. What's up, Paul Cray? Are you recording me, Paul Capel? Yes. So I can't even call you Paul C. I know. You got a Paul C there already. Yeah. We ran into that problem when we first was like... Yeah. Too many C's around here. <laughs> Google, navigate to Tusco Gun Club. Navigating to Tusco Rifle Club, Inc. Yeah, that kind of sucked getting there late on Friday afternoon. Man, yeah, traffic, what are you gonna do? That's right, we hit some traffic on I-90 and got there late and missed the payday challenge. But we have some reports from some friends of ours on what took place on that day. Apparently, the payday challenge was three different field targets, one set up at 50 yards, one set up at 75 yards, and one set up at 100 yards. But the kicker was this, you had to use three different guns for each target. Now they provided the guns. The first one at 50 yards was the caliber gun Cricket, nice little bullpup. The 75 yard target, they had to use the Benjamin Marauder. And the 100 yard target, they had to shoot with the Air Arms S510. Now, the young woman who won this event, her name is Sydney McDaniel, she'd never picked up the S510 before, and she got four out of five on the 100 yard field targets. Yeah, it was outstanding shooting. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, she won a $200 prize. Not bad for some casual shooting. Hey, Paul, what's it like uh, shooting again after a while? It's like riding a bicycle, except it's nothing like riding a bicycle. <laughs> it's much, much harder. <laughs> Even though we got there late on Friday, it wasn't a total wash. Pyramid Air set up a practice range where folks got to try out a whole bunch of different guns that they might not have a chance to try for the rest of their lives. Yeah, they had uh, the Samyang Dragon Claw 50 caliber. They had an Air Force Condor. Uh, I believe they had a Marauder. Uh, a couple TX200s, BSAR-10, HW-97K. There was a lot of really nice stuff there. I got a chance to try out a couple of rifles that I've never shot before. Ted brought his Daystate Mark IV. What a sweet, sweet rifle that is. Yeah. And I even tried out an FX gun. I've never picked up one of these before. Folks were really nice about letting other people try their guns. Great camaraderie, great friends. I saw some old ones and met some new ones. Yeah, a lot of really great people there. I got to meet people that I've spoke to for years over the internet, but never had a face to put the name to. Yeah, that's just awesome. It was a great time that first day. Everybody's got to be kept safe. You might be doing something safe, but your neighbor may be his first time on this shooting one of these matches. So we're there to make sure everybody stays safe. So we'll give you a warning. If it's a safety issue, you're going to be asked to leave. All right, folks, we're going hot. You all know the rules. Enjoy. Good luck. Let's have fun. All right, the next day, Saturday the 25th, was the official first day of the Pyramid Air Cup Challenge, and we were blessed with some really beautiful weather that day. Oh yeah, it was a great day. Yeah, it was a little bit windy, and that came into play for the field target shooters later in the day, but that first event was an offhand silhouette event, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, the PCP shooters, they shot the chicken at 15 yards, <laughs> uh, the pigs were at 25, the turkeys were at 40, and the rams were at 60. 
There was also a category for Springer shooters in that silhouette event, and you gotta hand it to the Springer folks. They're real dedicated to their sport. They're not easy with a PCP, much less offhand with a Springer. That's right, even bench rested with a PCP. These are all tough shots. Okay, I'm going home. <laughs> Paul Cray, the 2007 World Field Target Champion, came with us, of course, and he got a chance to shoot in the Field Target event, and he wasn't even shooting his own rifle. His friend Greg Sauvé was there, and he had brought two Steyr air guns. Now, Paul's known for using the Steyr in the Nationals and the World Field Target events, and what Paul did was swap all the parts from his Steyr, put it on his friend's Steyr, and he competed in that first day's field target event, and he got a 50 out of 52 possible points in that event. Amazing, and Paul hasn't picked up an air gun for about a year and a half. That was impressive. He had a big smile on his face, and he was in the zone all day long, very concentrated, very focused. He's a machine. When he looks through the scope, it's like he sees Medusa. He just turns into a statue. Yeah, it was nice watching the pros, but there were also some beginners there. And what Tyler did, which I thought was awful nice, is he paired the more experienced folks with the people who didn't have that much experience in field target. And they had a great time. Paul mentioned to me afterwards it was such a pleasure uh, shooting with beginners because they were so gracious and they were watching everything he did and learning from him as they went along. What a great event that was. The last day of the event is where things really started to heat up. They had the field target event in the morning, and then in the evening, they had what they called the gunslinger event. And that was open to PCP and Springer shooters as well. Right, that, that, was, that was a high tension match. It really was. It was, uh, you got paired off with a partner, and there were 16 silhouette targets, and it was whoever could finish first won. That's right. Ted mentioned to me the day before that, he has been to some of these speed events before, and although you're allowed to use a magazine, you have to load it as soon as they call time. Meanwhile, when you're just about done loading your magazine, the guys who are shooting with the single shot rifles are already five, six shots ahead of you and knocking their targets down. He said he's never seen anyone who's used a magazine-fed rifle ever win that event. And he was right. It wound up at the end of that event Ted was shooting an FX rifle, I believe. Yes, a Royale. FX Royale. And Paul Cray was shooting his borrowed Steyr. I believe Paul was down to his last five silhouette targets that were set up about 15 yards away. I looked over at Ted, and he was having trouble with his FX. He couldn't get it to fire. He kind of threw up his hands, and there was a collective, ah, from the people watching. And he kind of threw up his hands, Paul was down to his last three at that point. I looked over at Ted and he went, wait, maybe I'm still in. What happened was he was cocking the rifle and his thumb accidentally hit the safety. It's a hunter style safety on there. And that was it, there was nothing wrong with the gun. So he put it back on fire and he beat Paul by like three seconds. Mm -hmm. Paul was just about to finish up his row and Ted came in, pop, 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 I'm done. It was intense, it was incredible, it was really amazing. Congratulations to Ted, that was some fantastic shooting. Congratulations to everyone who shot there, it was just a great time. Thank you all so much for coming. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and well, we'll definitely be doing this again next year. Uh, and we'll see, well, hopefully all of you next year as well. Uh, but let's get to some awards and uh, recognize the folks out here who uh, did the very best. Um, so our overall grand champion, and uh, it was funny because he was asking me the whole time how it was possible a spring gun shooter could ever win this title um, against some PCP shooters. Um, winner of $1,000 and our grand champion, Ray Apelles. Oh, yeah. You guys did a great job of putting this on. Thank you. I got that. I got that too. I got a kid. This? Really?
I'm not giving him a kiss, though. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Folks, if you missed last year's Pyramid Air Cup, mark your calendars now, because there's another tournament taking place in September of 2015. There's no other tournament quite like it for the air gun shooting sports, so plan for your vacation days now. To see the final scores, check out some pictures from last year's event, and for general information, visit PyramidAirCup.com. Special thanks goes out to the folks at Pyramid Air for having us last year, and you can bet we'll be returning in 2015 to join in on the fun once again. For Airgun Reporter, my name is Paul Capello. Until next time, shoot safe and have fun.